Welcome to the Transparency Quality Assurance video. The purpose of this video is to review Transparency's quality assurance process, which is in place to ensure you are labeling efficiently and minimizing the risk of any labeling errors. In this video, we will discuss the four steps you will complete during the quality assurance process. The first step is to ensure your products are successfully enrolled with Transparency. You will not be able to move forward with other steps, including code generation, if your products are not successfully configured. The second step is to select your printing method for the transparency codes. This step is crucial as it defines your operational workflow. The next step is to select which transparency label type will be affixed to your products. Finally, you will submit a completed standard operating procedure, or SOP, defining how the labeling will be done. The SOP will serve as a guide to anyone responsible for the labeling. Let's expand on the first step, enrolling your products in transparency. Your transparency contact will provide you with a product configuration template, or PCT, which is used to capture specific product details required for enrollment. You will not be able to generate transparency codes until this form is completed and your products are successfully configured. Once your products are set up, you will see them displayed in the Transparency Self-Service Portal as available for code generation. To learn more about the Transparency Self-Service Portal, please refer to the Printing Transparency Codes video. Next, you will determine your method of printing the Transparency 2D Data Matrix code. This is essential in defining how you will standardize your operations. There are two printing methods, incorporating transparency in your artwork, otherwise known as design in, or printing the transparency codes on a sticker or a label. For either method, you may work with one of our transparency service providers, print in-house at your own plant or location, or have an alternative vendor print the codes. Design in enables an integrated consumer experience, simplifies operational workflow, and reduces error. To learn more about printing your transparency codes, please refer to the Printing Transparency Codes video. If you do choose to apply labels, they are printed as stickers, which are then affixed to your products. You must choose which label type you will print in order to move forward in the transparency process. Label selection is important, as it influences the way future shipments are prepared for Amazon Fulfillment Centers or other channels. The dimensions of your packaging may also influence your label selection. Labels 1 and 2 must be applied in addition to the codes that you apply today, whether it's a GTIN barcode or an FN SKU. Other labels, such as Label 3 and 4, combine the GTIN or FN SKU barcode with the transparency code. Labels 3 and 4 are beneficial in that they simplify the workflow by combining two labels into one. Combining the GTIN with a transparency code works best if you use a GTIN as a sticker on your inventory. Brands that are currently putting a separate FN SKU label on the item and do not have branded packaging are a good fit for label 4. Please note that each unit produced for each enrolled ASIN or GTIN must have a transparency code regardless of the label and distribution channel you select. The Standard Operating Procedure, or SOP document, will ensure you implement a consistent process to accurately label your inventory. You will complete and submit an SOP to your transparency contact. You may display the SOP in an easy-to-access location for others, such as your manufacturer or warehouse staff, to use as a guide when labeling. Your transparency contact will provide an SOP template for your reference. When drafting the SOP, you will define responsibilities by specifying who will oversee the labeling operations. You will define an estimated effective date to start labeling. Finally, you will indicate your label type and include a digital mock-up of the labeled unit. A digital mock-up is a picture or graphic design of your product packaging indicating where to place the transparency label. We ask for one mock-up per product packaging type. For example, let's say you sell your products in either a poly bag or a corrugated box. You would then provide two mock-ups, one for the poly bag and one for the corrugated box. The digital mock-up is crucial as your operations team will use this as a visual reference when affixing the transparency label to the product. This wraps up the Transparency Quality Assurance Overview. Ready to get started? 
Please proceed with the next video and reach out to your transparency contact with any questions. Thank you for selling and shipping with Amazon.